still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left across the square. Oh, hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang him there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. said you'll be fine are you trying to kill me with worry what if next time you don't return from the surface there's no one out there Artyom no one to find no one to talk to if there was don't you think they'd be here already we've talked about this again and again you have to accept it there's only us Colonel. Hell of Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't on? worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take Only me with you when you find the clean place outside? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture thread. 
Which is why we can't Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even something. sleep since you told him all those silly stories. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there you will come back to Poland. I want the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for Artyom... Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave you us a scare? scare, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are you in the hospital, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Aha, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I say we're out of the woods. Whoa.
Hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. We sure gave them hell. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now! things, right? A train! A damn horrible! It's our guys from the order! It looks like they're chasing that train, too. Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get this guy! You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one yeah, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. 
You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. <laughs> yeah, get them. What did we forget here, I wonder? Damn, what we broke through? Much of anything from God is in this place. Workers are done for. Keep your weapons trained on the opening. If anything comes through, we shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching off. I 
She's been screaming about alive. <laughs> you came for her. <laughs> All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. Well done.
you hurt? Hunter's badge? He stopped the bullet. Take this, bitch! Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. Hello! All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Don't shoot. I'm with him. I'm with you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Who are you? I'm Brian Wadley Gielbeck, the train engineer. Run now. Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. And then they just walked in here all by themselves. No. What was that? Washington? Washington is all right, don't you worry. Waiting for us to map up. Ah, oh, well. Enough of that. Attention! The command center is under attack! All unauthorized 
objectives are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Attention! The jamming system is coming to the online. Just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already, and I feel like shit. Man down! What is happening here? Over the there. guards won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on.
on, Artyom. Turn the turntable on. Intense. Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to get Just a little bit. Let's do this together. Just a little... Shoot these two! And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare soldier? give me lip, soldier! Don't you dare! The Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now! Colonel, sir! We have a situation here! Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Our Guys, what are you doing here? Let's talk about surprises! Colonel, this will mean court-martial for all of you! All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this! Just... Can't be shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no down. Shit, the watchers won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, about, there are people from it's other cities, boss. dead! All Everyone of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call, and you're misunderstanding not. Well, at the I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The order leaves no one behind. 
supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! So, how about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started to fall, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. We were going to go far, just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On the simple joyride? No. I'm the only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Class. Treason. We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! I kind of hoped it wouldn't get to this. You don't know? Some assholes stole an engine of ours and are trying to escape Moscow. So we are after them? What was that?
Now we are not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There is no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? 
I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? Wait a moment, what was that? Speaking from the Ark Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause. Listen, everyone! Rally point location is code... That to the rally point. To... Rally point location is code one eight so one it is one somewhere dash around seven here. nine. The Yaman area mountain. one eight. So the roof dash from here five. should go only by standing uh, together. Like this this is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change, everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <laughs> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? The thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Build the <laughs> Even better. Oh, come Pound on. Up Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but a cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. 
So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Four bogies on a trolley! Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just Let's fine. Let's go, Artyom. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Artyom, do not forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go.
Look, a rabbit. A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Father Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons and sinful lures of the enemy and to those who falter Yeah. 
his crack, for so will the Lord. Soon our brother's militant will be here. Come on! And the Lord's justice will be done. Mama, it's him! The man from the train! He's here to save us! I can't believe this! I had all but lost hope! We're not from here either! Silantius locked us up here a year ago! Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year! Oh, it's the bridge guard! Silantius fooled them just like the locals, but unlike them, the bridge guard have guns! Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Archon, she's right. Get to the boat. We'll rescue her later. Don't worry. Where is that heretic? He came by boat during the sermon. And then what? Rosie, you will sit there, and then... Kind of disappeared. As Father Silentius said, the man was sent by the devil.